Hey, you look a bit shaky. Why don't we fix that for you? How to reduce shake. And welcome back to another video. I'm Alan Spicer, your YouTube certified expert. And if you're looking to start a YouTube channel, grow your YouTube channel, or push your brand out there with the second largest search engine on the internet, you should click subscribe, Star Creator. Now, I know I'm guilty of it. I know in my earlier videos when I was on webcam, I used to bounce about all over the place. It was shaky, it was horrible. Every time I bounced up and down, it caused a problem. Luckily enough, now I've got a tripod, a camera, and everything seems fine. But you might be out and about, you might be having the problems of shaky footage, and sometimes it's not so easy to digitally remove it or enhance it because you get the weird blurred edges. So here are my tips in improving your shakiness. One, let's say you're recording on a laptop. That's normally an entry level for most people. There you are, you're sat at a desk, there's the, the camera, you've got it stacked up on stuff and you're aiming your camera lens from your laptop right at your face. Just be careful. Don't lean on the table that you happen to be on because it will bang, it will shake. Do not gesticulate too much because you might knock the tripod that is your books or you might bang the table that will wobble it and then you've got to deal with the wobble you've got to deal with the bounce because you've got to wait for the laptop to kind of calm down if you have to use a laptop pick a stable surface a table's okay but is it on a solid floor if you need to put it on a carpet make sure the table's solid and wedged and that you are a distance away from it if you can be the further you are away from it fine the audio will suffer but you can then you know lapel mic it out maybe sort it out you can buy kind of tripods for laptop holding and i i know they're like 120 150 pound to get like a a laptop tripody thing if you have to go by the root of the the webcam on top of the the thingy thing then go that way. Make it a stable base and make sure that you are fully aware that you can't be too animated just in case it bounces the floor or the laptop. Two, cameras and webcam. Now, if you can, if you truly can, try to avoid handheld content. I understand that it's not always possible and I'll address that very shortly. But if you can, if you can mount it on something, if it's a webcam, if it's a camera, if you can if you can put it on something stable, brilliant. If you truly have to use handheld, then try and get a tripod and try and use two hands because two hands is more stable than one. Or if you're not a tripod user at all, then hold it with both hands on your phone or your camera. Because just generally, if you hold your phone there one-handed, you'll see even just micro movements, right? And that's that's perfectly fine. And over time, if you're live streaming or if you're recording for two, three more minutes, that, that's still got a wobble and the camera's noticing that every little wobble. Whilst if you hold it with two hands, it's much more stable, it's much more comfortable, much less strain on your hand. Once again, a stable surface is best. So if you're sat in your car, wedge your phone or wedge your, your webcam or whatever you're doing, wedge it into the, I don't know, the dashboard or get a gorilla pod and wrap it around so it can't move. Really stabilize it as much as you can. And then of course, focus on not bouncing as much or not moving your hands as much because yes, the camera's stable, but if you bounce and you're in a car, or if you bounce and you're somewhere, it, it, might, it might just try to adjust or you might knock it loose or yeah. Three, the hardest kind is on the go. Now I've done a few vlogs and I'm guilty of this. I'll go out on the canal and I'll go and walk and it's a, a lumpy surface and I'm using one hand and I'm trying to focus on the camera whilst trying to not fall over or get mugged by a duck. And these are tips that I need to take myself for the next time that I go on a walk. Can you stand still? It's a quick fix if you think about it. If you're walking, it's going to be bouncy. If you're stood still, you've immediately eliminated some of the bounce. You've immediately eliminated some of the potential shake. So if you're going to do a walking video, or if you're going to go out and about and explore the neighborhood around you, can you actually do it in clips? So, you know, let's say you walk out of your house and you're in your woodland and then you walk out of your house and then you're around that corner and then you're in the town center and then you're at the canal and then wherever. I mean, that way you can pick the really interesting parts of the background. If I was doing it in Huddersfield, I could slowly show you the sites behind me. A canal, Huddersfield train station, Castle Hill, other landmarks, blah, blah. I get that, that might be a lot of traveling or I get that you're worried that you might be walking or you're trying to record content while on the go. So you're trying to be sensible and, you know, record a three, five minute video while getting to that bus. I, I understand that, I do. But if you can take a tripod with you and you can stick it on a wall 
or you can get a gorilla pod and stick it in a tree, that kind of thing. Because you are static, it eliminates most of the problem. Because once again, try to avoid using your hand, try and use a tripod over your hand. But even then, if you're trying to use a hand, try and use two-handed. Or if you can't do the static thing, if you truly have to move to create the content, or you feel that it is paramount for the thing because it adds depth, or it adds honesty, or it adds whatever, then walk slower. There is such a thing as a cameraman walk. Basically, you just try and walk slow, you try and walk smooth, because that is still much more stable than which is a jerk. So next time I'm walking along the canal, instead of me plodding and turning from left to right on each one of my footsteps, if I actually slowed down and slowly walked, it is much smoother. And then at least if there is a bounce, it's more predictable. It's kind of like a, a nodding dog and it's less erratic. If you want other tips to improve the quality of your videos, check out the playlist here. Go out there, start creating.